Hey, what's up everyone? We're back at it with another, you know, testing reviewing video. How I did these on uh, Tuesday. I am trying to bring these back and this is a game I wanted to do really badly. This is uh, enlisted. A free game. I wanted to review it. I'm not testing it because I already tested the game and I already love it. Um, if you play Battlefield 1, Battlefield 5, um, there's a lot of games like Hell Let Lose. There's a lot of games that are similar to this game, but this one's very unique. I really like it and I'll show some gameplay in the background. I'm gonna try to make this as short as possible. This game's really really good though. It's very unique. It has it has like so much more content than like Battlefield 5 or Battlefield 1. And it doesn't make you pay like crazy DLC maps. But there are some pay to win packages you can get on here like say like a special squadron or a tank. Um this game is really good. It, you get like a lot of the stuff from the other battlefields and all that, but it it changes it up a lot. Like you added the Russians, which is the one I'm playing right now, and the Italians. I mean, it has so many nationalities and it's so cool. I will say there are a couple of wonky things, like the uh, animations are a bit wonky. And a little bit of the graphics, like you can see right now, the graphics look good, but some of the characters look kind of bad, I'm not going to lie. And there's just a little bit of like mechanics in the game that don't really make sense. Um, a little bit of things that are harder. You don't expect complete Battlefield because it's a little more different. Um, as you can see, if you look to the left, it shows like a huge squadron of people. And yes, I spawned in with them. They literally follow me and help me kill and tap her points. Um, once you die as the character you're playing as, you become the other ones, if they're not dead yet. Um, it's really cool, um, I definitely recommend trying out this game. Um, it's, it's definitely up there, uh, I would definitely recommend it like an 8 out of 10, or rated an 8 out of 10, because, you know, it's that good. The reason why it's not a 10 out of 10 is because, you know, a little bit of a wonky gameplay. There's there's some things that are off. It's mostly like they try to add like some weird little features to the game. Like I don't understand them. But um, it's like I don't really know how to explain the features that they added. It's like they added some kind of weird aiming thingy, and sometimes when you aim in, it like holds or it aims like completely off the iron sight or something. There's like a couple of little bugs like that. But nothing too crazy. Uh, I even bought the battle pass on this game. That's how you know good it was. I decided to invest into it, and that's probably the only money I'm gonna put into it. But I kind of wanted you know to help them out, put some money in the game. I don't know how much money they got in that, but definitely recommend this game. It's literally free. Um, it's cool. I I know it's on PC. It's on PS4. It should be on Xbox also. Uh, I don't know what else, but that's like the main things anyways. Um, yeah, like, I'll show more more gameplay so y'all can see, but definitely recommend trying out this game. I would love to see the servers blow up even more, because they keep updating the game, which is really cool. A lot of the time with Battlefield, they'll only like update it for like another year and a half, and then they just stop touching it. With this game, they're constantly updating it. It's really fun, it's really cool. And then they come out with little special events. I heard there's like a modern event. And you can get all these little cool profile pictures and stuff. There's a lot of cool stuff to this game. So yeah, I do recommend trying it out. Damn, we lost.